Endocrine video seven, the last one, the last videoing. All right, so this is just, I had mentioned earlier that a lot of other organs have some endocrine function, but they're not considered true glands. So take, for instance, this list of one, two, three, four, five, six. I think your book may have an extra one or two in there, but this is good for us. Uh, fat, adipose tissue produces two uh, hormones that we're going to deal with. Now, there's others. I'm just whenever, don't, this isn't the end all be all, but produces two that I want you to know. Leptin, which uh, reduces your appetite, and resistin, which is, acts as an insulin antagonist. So it kind of, instead of lowering blood sugar, it keeps up your blood sugar. Uh, the leptin, eh, I'm not going to get into that detail. Forget it. All right, so the heart produces one called atrial natriuretic peptide. That's easy to say. Atrial natriuretic peptide, or ANP. Should have abbreviated that there, but uh, that's ANP, not a and P, but A N P, in response to high blood pressure. So this is going to be another one of those things that will uh, affect your urine output. But this is a weird one, right? This one increases urine output. So if your blood pressure is high, or if you uh, have uh, your your blood's not concentrated enough, um, you will produce this to pee more. Kidneys produce something called erythropoietin or EPO. Uh, this cause, stimulates erythropoiesis or the manufacture of erythrocytes. So this is one of those uh, hormones that you can isolate and um, inject to um, make your uh, athletic performance better. Not advising that, but that's what people sometimes get caught doing. Your skin produces something called cholecalciferol. Now these words sound all complicated, but I've said them a few times, but you can learn them. Just break them down slow. Cholecalciferol which is an inactive form of vitamin D, which uh, then becomes activated later and will allow you to absorb calcium from your food. So you can actually get vitamins by going in the sun. Uh, this is also why they put vitamin D in milk, because if, you're, if you don't have the vitamin D, you can't really absorb the calcium. Without vitamin D, uh, you, you eat, no matter how much calcium you get, you could still have a calcium deficiency. Uh, I don't want to go into it, but it's an interesting story, so I will. All right, so no, I won't. Forget it. Ask me in my office hours if you want to hear an interesting story. So the thymus produces a couple of different groups of hormones that basically help you develop T cells for uh, your immune system. And uh, the placenta, which is a kind of a temporary um, endocrine organ that is the interface between a mother and an embryo, produces some of the basic female hormones and one called human chorionic gonadotropin or HCG and you may have seen this one as a supplement as well I'm not sure how these work but uh, this is meant to be produced by the placenta and the embryo to tell the mother that she's pregnant so she doesn't uh, menstruate because if you menstruate with a an embryo embedded then you have just miscarried that's the last of these um, PowerPoint screencasts for this chapter. I hope this works out for you. I guess I'll find out in my first couple of office hour sessions. Make sure you read the notes. Check the book when you have con when you're uh, confused or you need something cleared up. And be sure to email me or talk to me during my office hours, which I will be uh, arranging soon.